Case is my beloved son, whom I deeply miss every waking moment <coughs> of every day. Heartbreak and grief in a Hennepin County courtroom this morning. A man who shot and killed two people is now heading to prison for decades. Lavelle Piggy claims he murdered Malik Carb Riggs and Case Ritzman, believing one of the men stole a large amount of drugs from him. Today, a judge handing Piggy a maximum sentence under a plea deal the 20 year old made with prosecutors. Paul Bloom was in the courtroom for the proceedings where the victim's families had one question. Why? Case was our bright, charming, athletic, beautiful youngest son. Nancy Richmond still cannot believe she found herself in Judge Daniel Moreno's courtroom Friday morning, opening up her heart over the murder of her precious child. And he could bedazzle anyone with a smile. And he was just instantly gone. to see. Case Richmond's loved ones played this touching memorial at sentencing. It was about a year and a half ago now, February 2022, when the Richmond's nightmare unfolded. Lavelle Piggy killed Richmond, as well as Malik Carr Riggins in a car on Minneapolis' north side. Shot them both, execution style from behind, from the back seat. When asked why he did it, prosecutors allege Piggy, a drug dealer, had been upset, believing his partner, Carr Riggins, had stolen a large batch of drugs from him. Richmond had apparently been asked to drive the two men that day and otherwise was not directly connected to the dispute. The defendant acknowledged those two brutal murders with matter-of-factness of someone ordering food at a drive through window. Malik's death was personal and we want justice. For Malik's loved ones, there's only disbelief. Their family had welcomed Piggy into their home over the years, even considered him a friend and brother. The now 20-year-old ultimately admitted to the slayings, agreeing to plead guilty to two counts of second-degree murder with a sentence ranging up to 51 years, rather than face the potential of life on a murder one indictment. He was under the influence of gang members almost from the time he got out of the crib. While Piggy's defense attorney argued for the low end, Judge Moreno wasn't buying it, giving him the maximum under the negotiated deal, exactly what the Richmonds believe he deserved. I see no remorse, no concern for his fellow man, nothing but locking him away for the maximum allowable time in that designated range will stop him, will protect us. Lavelle Piggy now heads off to begin serving his 51-year prison sentence, doing the math. He'll spend about 33 of those years behind bars for this cold-blooded execution-style murder that, as you saw and heard there, destroyed two families and left countless others reeling. Reporting in Minneapolis, Paul Bloom, Fox 9.